Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 8th of November 1923, the Beer Hall Putsch took place when Adolf Hitler, along with First World War hero Erich Ludendorff, led an attempted coup against the Weimar government by trying to seize power in the Bavarian city of Munich. The putsch failed, and Hitler was later found guilty of treason. Sentenced to five years in prison, however, he was released after serving just eight months. The Beer Hall Putsch was conceived at a time when the Weimar Republic was politically, socially and economically crippled. Hyperinflation had reached its worst level since the occupation of the Ruhr, and many so-called patriotic associations looked to emulate Mussolini's successful march on Rome that had taken place the previous year in an attempt to wrest control away from the seemingly useless Weimar government. Having led a group of approximately 600 brown-shirted Nazi stormtroopers to a place known as the Bürgerbraukeller, Hitler burst into a meeting at which Gustav von Kahr, the state commissioner, was speaking. Threatening him at gunpoint, Hitler demanded support for the putsch. Having made a speech that was then met with uproarious approval from the 3,000 members of the audience, Hitler then called on Ludendorff to further press Carr to support the coup. Carr eventually agreed, and he and his fellow politicians were then allowed to leave. They immediately alerted the police and the army, who began to move against the putsch. Sixteen Nazis and four policemen were killed in a brief firefight the next day. Hitler was arrested two days later, but got revenge on Carr eleven years later when he ordered his murder as part of the Night of the Long Knives. (laughs) 